Okay, we're in PT rigging today, and uh, I wanted to show you what's happening with the spars and the, uh, the iron work, or in this case, bronze work. This is the uh, mysterious blue board, which has the drawings and calculations for the bronze work that's going on. Hello, Justin, how are you? And then here's the spar where the gooseneck that Dan's working on right now is being manufactured or fabbed up. We'll take a walk along the spar, and you can see some of the gear being built. This is the lower tang plate um, and spreader mount being tacked together and fabbed. Uh, seven eighths bolts, there'll be tangs here for the lowers. And then the intermediate plate um, with a bale being built for the staysail stay. Um, and a block will hang from this. This is 180, this actually hangs underneath the spar, but right now we're setting it up like this, getting our geometry uh, for that. And these holes are aligned with the G10 tube and there's a two inch diameter G10 thrust washer uh, to take the loads. Um, let's take a walk into the loud room and talk to Dan, or at least take a look at what Dan's up to. <laughs> Hello, Dan. How are you? I just thought I'd come in and do some filming and um, show the world what we've been up to the past couple of weeks with things. This is Dan Coolin. He uh, owns PT Rig. He's the master welder and fabricator and, and rigging guy who does the uh, design work. He worked with uh, Craig Johnson's drawings for the spar. Um, and he's been in the fab mode here for a while. How's it going? It's going good. What we're doing here is we did back welds mm -hmm. into these pieces that we welded from uh, the front side. Mm -hmm. And now I'm grinding them out and fairing them out so that we can sit flush on our spar. And these bands will be tight against the wood surface after we put them back on with bedding on mm -hmm. So it requires a lot of uh, hand work and filling. Everything's uh, welded bronze and then ground out flush surface. Uh -huh. So the easiest way to get in here is just with the die grinder. And then later on everything will be sanded or uh, sand and or sandblasted to get a consistent finish. Mm -hmm. well, What are you doing, honors? <laughs> Looks like you're making an electrolysis machine. Uh huh. <laughs> 